Voice Meter Banana allows you to control multiple audio sources from separate media players and voiceover communication programs such as Skype and TeamSpeak all within one application. Following my previous guide on how to set up Voice Meter Banana within OBS and XSplit, this quick video will explain setting up playback devices in commonly used applications. This will allow you more control over what audio you're sending out to your stream for broadcasting. In our previous guide, we set all of our system sounds to be ran under Voice Meter AUX going out through A1 to our physical speakers, and all other channels are run through B1 or Bus1, going out to OBS and XSplit. For setting up media playback devices, we're going to be using VAIO, and for setting up playback devices within communication programs, we'll be using Cable Out, or a virtual audio cable. To get started, we'll set the playback devices of all of our media players to the VAIO. In Windows Media Player, we'll head to Organize, Options. Under Devices and Speakers, we'll click Properties and then we'll change our default audio device to voice meter input or the VAIO. We can hit apply OK, OK. Now when we play a song through Windows Media Player, we can see in voice meter banana that it's being ran under the VAIO. This allows you more control of what you're being broadcasted out to your stream. If you want to mute the music for your stream but not yourself, you simply click B1. You guys can no longer hear the music, but it's still coming out through my physical speakers for me to hear. We can turn it back on for you. We can also do the reverse sending only the music out to your stream, but not listening to it ourselves. We'll stop the music there. Minimize that. Next, in VLC Media Player, it's a similar setup. We can head to Audio, Audio Devices, change our default to Voice Meter Input or the VIO. Now, when we play music through VLC, it's being ran through the VIO and Voice Meter Banana as well, allowing for a similar configuration. I personally prefer VLC a little bit nicer, just because using the open media network, you can add in a YouTube playlist if you like. Uh, viewers can add to your playlist if you want as well. So it's just a little bit nicer of a uh, setup there. Personally for me, it's just what I prefer. Uh, we'll stop that there, minimize that. Next, we'll want to set up our communication programs to be ran over our virtual audio cable. Under hardware input 3, we'll want to set our cable output to our virtual audio cable. VB Audio offers a virtual audio cable for free. I'll put a link to the download of that in the description below. And so Hardware Input 3 will be run under our cable or our virtual cable for the output. In TeamSpeak, we'll head to our Settings, Options. Under Playback Devices, we'll change our default to our cable input. We can hit Apply OK. Now anything that's being ran over TeamSpeak is being ran through Input 3 out to our speakers or headset if you have that set up and B1 out to the stream. Again, you can just turn off B1 if you don't want your stream to hear what's going on through TeamSpeak. We'll turn it back on there. And finally, we'll set up Skype to be ran over our virtual audio cable as well. Under Tools and Options, we can head to Audio Settings. We'll change our speakers to Cable Input or the virtual audio cable. Hit Save. Now, everything that's ran through Skype, all your conversations are over Hardware Input 3. Allow me again, just turn off B1 if you don't want your stream to hear the Skype conversation. So now you're set to have full control over what you're sending out for broadcast out to your stream. For a quick little recap of everything we've done here, we have our voice meter aux picking up all of our system sounds, so video game sounds, browser sounds, anything like that. We have VIO picking up all of our media players from Windows Media Player, VLC. You can also set up Spotify to go through there if you'd like. And then we have our virtual audio cable picking up all of our communication programs over our hardware input 3. Hopefully these guys were helpful in setting up Voice Meter Banana for OBS and XSplit. If they were, go ahead and give them a thumbs up. And if you like the rest of my content, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.